Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Chucky's Talk Show! We're coming at you live from Kansas G's Entertainment Corporation with a brand new talk show topic and brand new thoughts and characters on this joke. And here he is, your host with the most, Charles Tucker! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Welcome back to the Chucky South Show. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm your host, Charles Tucker. And before I get on with the talk show, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for putting the first talk show up to 600 views. That is crazy, even though I haven't edited that much lately. <laughs> and the third one to, like, you know, 100. So, anyway, you want to check out our talk show playlist, you can. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to Constant Cheese Entertainment Official. It's our new official channel. We have the Letters to Chucky and Jasper coming soon. It's Chucky's Greatest Hits and the brand new talk show Seasons coming soon. We're not going to deal with that as yet because, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to wait till more time comes in. But anyway, um, what about we introduce our friend here, whenever he's ready, CC.Hervey. Hey, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our talk show. And then, um, it's pronounced CC Hervey. I mean... Forget the dot, yeah. Wait, the dot always had to work. I didn't put that in the script. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. just playing the chef. Anyway, folks, I'm going back to another talk show topic. So today, I think about you know, I mean, I mean, looking around and I'm just thinking of new ideas for the talk show. You know, to make it more interesting, since you guys are really loving it, and you haven't checked out the last talk show topic, please go check it out. It's actually one of my best, so not my best, but one of good ones, actually. So today, we're going to be talking about the 90s. Not live shows, we're going to talk about the 90s show tapes. Now, Which uh, is good as that. Yes, there's a lot of things happening in the 90s, you know, that happens around the CEC that was so good. I mean, right off the bat, we can name them all, but... Let's just talk about how the show tapes are really good. So today, we're going to be talking about the, our top 10 best, no, top 10 favorite CEC 90 show tapes. And actually, well, you know, let's get started in Chucky Herbie. We'll start it off with the number 10 on the list. So you got the four there, man. You got it, but that. Let's see here. What's the first thing? That, oh, is it 1990? Well, actually, uh, we're going uh, in... Up on, well, let's get started on number 10 on this list. For 1990, it's Concept Unification Premiere. This show tape has been premiered from 1990 to 92, around in June. Because, you know, the Rock Fire Explosion was getting rid of, and then Chuck Jesus came into the play. But, anyway, you know, since you're part of, this, uh, part of your topic of... Of it, what about you introduce how what's your favorite part of this show tape? Thank you for that. Well folks, this show was premiered in only seeing every single three stage locations when after when the Rock Fire explosion has been replaced. I mean, it's a little it's a little good show with with some songs that you may know and love, like Together We Got It. There's simply irresistible, and there's the right stuff. And I want to dance with somebody and foot loose. But right. It, and fun fact for those who don't really know, this was the only first uh, month from was the first location to have the uh, constant unification tested out. So yeah. Pretty interesting history facts there, folks. Okay, so, um... Alright, so it's my turn now with the number 9 song on the list. I had to go with... Man, number 9 on the list? Please don't we don't write script for these things, actually. But, um... Alright, so, um... Let me hear. Number 9 on the list, I want to say, is The Friends Show. Or, a.k.a. January 1991. 
So this show is... Which, in my opinion, this show is definitely, it's definitely like a, like a, uh, well, you know, it's, it's like, it's like, it's all about friends, okay? Right. Like, like but, sharing mm-hmm. or responsibility right. or whatever. Right, but, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's a lot, a, lot, a lot of people know how to make friends. You know, this they got that new kid who'd be shy. And I'll keep it. Anyway. Um, it starts out the show with Jasper being so lonely because he don't have no friends. And you know, since it's still the '90s, you know, the guys are still the 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 gang are still the new kids on the block. And so, like Kirby said, it's about sharing and responsibility. But one of my favorites, actually. Is one of my favorites. Uh, I want to say original because I don't know all these songs are actually original, but um, is Chucky's plays. In my opinion, it's most it's the most definitely iconic song of all time. Right, and it not only that, but it came back into a live show into the in 1991 once again, and of course in 1992, and it has its final live show of a part in 2001. Which I gotta say, Chucky's place is really good, and I'm glad that it got re- got reused again in the Avenger era, and of course the Rockstar era. Which I gotta say, Chucky's place will never get sold because it's a great thing to do. Cause why not? It's Chucky's place. You gotta have fun. Right. Okay. But also, here's a fun fact about this: this is the only show that has three animations. Well, I give it for this. Three eight minute countdowns. Yes, back then I mean, the show was I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what about, I mean, oh wait, it's not even invented yet. Right, the, the shows back then had like countdowns and all for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Or, here's a second part of that. This was, this was that the last show that Helen's voice was like from Pizza Time Theater <laughs> to be shown. Oh yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm not serious. Yeah, this yeah. is her voices from Pizza Don Theater's last show. I think so. I don't know. Let me do that research. Actually, I think so. I I think I think so. I don't know because Christina was still around that time, was he? I can't remember. Oh, right, anyway, why don't you introduce the next show? All right, um, the um, number eight. All right, uh, coming up on number eight, on from 1992. It's the most, uh, it's the most good show you ever seen. Whenever you're in a place or something, I call this one planes, trains, and automobiles, also known as August 1992 show. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <clears throat> hold that thought there, Mister. Oh yeah, you're right. No wait, hold on. Sorry, uh, sorry, folks. Anyway, uh, back back to what we we're saying, Harvey. You're right, cause Christina. Wait, when does the Oh, yeah, you're right, because Nancy finished Ellen's voice in that time, and Christina did the voice over there. Okay, sorry! Okay, you're right. You're right, that was the last time I heard that. Alright, cool. Okay, back back to the show. Back back, back to the Plane Trains and Automobiles. Sorry, folks. Thank you. You're welcome. As I was saying, that this show, it has to be about all vehicles, whatever, on, on the road, on train tracks, or on, on the sky. And this also been one of the first show tapes in CC history to feature the Tully Row location. Wait, fe- and let's not forget, this is the only show that featured the only first appearance of the band's friend, Charlie Rock. Uh, no, this wasn't actually the first time they introduced Charlie Rock. Charlie Rock has been in the show since the beginning of 92. Right. Okay, anyway. But yeah, Charlie Rocket also made an appearance into this show at the end of Semic 3 with Danger Zone. But also, back to Tully Road, we were saying, this is one of the locations that's still in California to this day, and so in case you guys are down in California, please go visit this location. It's have a great history behind it. One of the great historic stores ever. The feature the band singing Little Red Corvette and the train song and of course if people know that Tully Rose Jasper is now owned by the one and only Jacob or aka Rockefeller Cheese. So Jacob if you're watching this video, how you doing? And you want to subscribe to his channel, link in the description below. Anything else about Tully Rose you should know about? Well, I say that 
that. This show is good, and it's wonderful. Right. Very wonderful. Okay, so, so anyway. So, um... Anyway, kicking it off with the number seven show on our list, we got my personal favorite. Actually, one of my favorites. Actually, I don't know what the heck you guys actually want to call this. So I'm just I'm just reading out the uh, ready uh, show this piece of show tape list anyway. So you might you might correct me for this error in any way, pal. So you guys want to check okay, it out? Okay, so um, number seven on the list here. is coming up uh, on number um coming up on number seven on this list here. It's May 93 show. And how do you know I was going to say that? Right. Okay, someone has been reading our scripts lately, so... Anyway, May 93. Let's just make a correction here, folks. A lot of people are saying that it's July 93, and some people are saying it's May 93, so basically it doesn't matter what show you guys do want to call it. May 93 or July? Not, not really sure, but... Anyway, we're not saying no one's wrong here, okay? But anyway, May or July 93, whatever the heck you guys want to call it, I'm just going to call it May for now on in this video, so don't correct me. This show is very good and very great, and it got a lot of great tunes in the song. Sounds like, I feel good and feel the rhythm, and uh, oh, of course, one of my favorites, oh man, gotta love it, Ball Crawl. Which is definitely one of the fans' favorites. Yes, yeah, true. And also, this also has the premiere of our our one of our cast workers, uh, Julie, who is our our host of the show that introduced the next songs and skits and stuff. You know, we got a great lot of throwback skits in, like the guessing game and uh, on the road on home on the range and geography rap and those little countdowns of music videos and you know. Good times. Good times on that show. Anyway. So anyway, well... Parents hear him. Uh, coming up on the number six on the list from 1994, which, by the way, this was the old time you... First time you introduced Duncan. the most remarkable show. Like, when, when it's on, well, you know... It's Let the Good Times Roll, a.k.a. January 94 show. This was the first time introducing Duncan Brandon as the voice of Chuck E. Cheese, Mr. Munch, and surprisingly, Yashty Yows. Crazy, right? Which is kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird. But honestly, this show has some good times in and really some good songs, like Freeze Frame and uh, Achy Breaky Hearts and uh, Dog Jamming. And, of course, one of my personal favorites where we have... Jeremy and um, Zachary, you know, Jeremy Blado, the current voice of Jeff T. Giles, where they sing, when they introduce the band for their final number as an encore, which that began in 93, When You're Here. Such a great, beautiful song to listen to. I mean, this, this, show, is, this, show, is, this show is great, but, it, I mean, it's awesome, but the, it's got some good music. Right. So kicking up yeah. kicking up with number five from ninety five. Hmm, I gotta go with Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow or AKA March ninety five. Or April. April. Was it March or April? It, it's April ninety five, okay? Oh. Like the title of the videos are just pure rock for me. Hey, 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 I told you we not gonna correct no one. Uh, oh, uh, no offense to you, folks. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. It's the actual real name of the show. Yes, so basically back in this time, around in 94 to 96, show and shows were produced by Disney at the NGL Studios. And well, this show has actually had some good parts of it. This was the only last show to introduce Mouth, who was uh, the band's... Uh, I don't know what the heck he was for the band anyway. He's like a band's friend or something. But well, actually, Mr. Mouth was first appeared in January 95, which is... I don't know. I don't know who he was, but anyway, they go to the future to check out how Chuck E. Cheese would look like in the future. I don't know, maybe the year 3000 or so or something. And they got some great songs, and then right after those first two sketches, they talk about what the kids will be when they want to grow up and stuff. And the kids talk about who they want to be. And of course, there's this little kid who wants to be Chuck E. Cheese when he grows up. Eh, big dreams and big goals for the future. So kids, don't 
don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Because it will soon be here. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Okay, that's stuck in my head. Get on with the number four song, please. All right, all right. Coming up on number four on the list here. It's from 1996. And this one is just feeling good. It's the Awesome Adventure Machine show. Yes. Okay, August 96. As some of you guys do know, the Awesome Adventure Machine show was actually one of my personal favorites. Like I said, my friend has introduced this uh, testing store. And well, the Awesome Adventure Machine show brings Chuck and his friends on amazing adventures. Kicking off with Pascoli's in the kitchen, losing his cheese. Oh wait, hey, that's Peter Duncan. And uh, of course, they went on to um, Silicon Valley, which had a piece on theater sign. Uh -huh. And one of my favorites is Turn the Beat Around. I just love that song so much. For some reason, I don't know why. I just love Jasper's energy in that one. And the most popular thing about this one is to feature this story called The Silicon Valley Showdown. I love that one. I'm just telling you, these songs are just so great back then. <sighs> but hey, since we're still talking about the awesome mesh machine, what about we talk about, you know... Wait. For 97, which one was actually good? You know, I'm kind of having a debate on that one. Okay, so, um... Anyway... Now, now, I'm in it right up on number three. Three on this list here. It's the most thing here you ever see. So, it's the Jukebox yeah. Jam show. Oh, yeah. Good thing. Yeah. You know, that's one of my favorites. Favorite shows, actually. And by the way, folks, I am going to upload audio on that one on the channel soon. So, stay tuned for that one. But anyway, Chucky's Jukebox Jam show. <laughs> One of my favorite shows, actually, from the 97. It takes you guys a little throwbacks of songs that Chucky and the band sing. With a lot of great funny skits and uh, throwback videos. And, of course, again, Charlie Rocket is back into the intermissions, of course. But his voice is sounding, sounding different, you know. Like a, like a street, street dude, like a roller skater dude or something. So, basically, this does evolve around in the springtime. And, of course, it does have Do You Know. Once again, has featured Jeremy Plato and some other... Other female chick. I don't know who she is, but okay. Anyway, got a lot of great songs and a lot of great skits. And of course, Mr. Mouth has come back into it again, even though he has been absent a lot lately. Besides the fact with the live shows and birthday shows, um, Chucky Jukebox Jam show has some good laughs, some good, some good times in. And of course, uh, did anybody seen that Jasper uh, Doggy Ball or something? I don't know. No idea. Yeah, it's but interesting. interesting enough, this was the only show. That featured 13 segments. I mean, Jesus Christ! This is a huge show! Yeah, I mean, Pizza on Theater had like more segments than that, honestly. I mean, look, let's just face the facts. There was no way of May 93 to repeat itself with that whole much segment. I don't know how much it did, but you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, this show is actually pretty good. It's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. It was like a best CCTV, but different. With a lot of great laughs and skits and stuff behind the band and all. But anyway, we're actually getting close to the end. So, let's kick out with number two. Uh, I'm going to stand. Because I'm <coughs> Here we go. Kicking out with number two into one of the one of the worst shows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hold up, 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 hold up. We can't, we can't talk about that. I know. I mean, it was... If you already seen it, but the oh you know, you know, screw me. Here we go. How about number two? In one of the worst shows on here, history. Here we go. It's a future topic right here, man. You just really gotta oh, link it out. Take it off on number two. We have May nineteen ninety eight show. Or right. AKA Studio Z. <sighs> This show first premiered its amazing so you see Alpha as a late night host Chuck E. Cheese and of course the characters ain't on the stage for some reason, I don't know why, and Jeremy Plato has it the voice of Chuck E. Cheese. Basically, we're not going to get into much topics about this show because this show is actually the worst. It has a good, good little clips and all, but it doesn't make any sense. It's about Chuck E. and the band introducing a number and they close the curtains and then they come out making dimly witty comments and then close the curtains and that's it. It's just video footage. It's nothing new. It's just stupid. Stupid, stupid. But anyway, folks, 
you're gonna find out for a future topic episode, but anyway, what's your thoughts about May 98? Also, uh, May 98 was the only show that featured this guy named, say it with me here, folks, Will, Will Fry, the new nutrition guy. guy. Yeah, actually, you know, that was actually the most good part, actually, to the show. Who is also yeah, played yeah. by the one and only Jeremy okay, anyway. Taylor. I the ending of this thing here. Oh wait, 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 wait. Until wait. on number one on the list. Hold up, hold on, 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 hold Look, you talk to the script writers about that one. I mean, look, the paper did say number one is Fabulous World Adventure. Right, but uh, anyway, screw that one because on the number one on the list is the, the terrific Time Travel Review, also known as the Ninety Nine Show. Fine. I mean, this show, this, sh- this show was good. I mean, it got good. It's that got good, good songs. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like how. The gang are traveling from from the 1950s to the 1990s. This it? I mean, it's, it's just a 90s show. Hello. <laughs> anyway, also, this was the only show that featured the future looks fun to me made a comeback in only in segment five. Yeah. Show. Yeah. It's it makes it. Me. But also, this was the only show that featured Jeremy Blado was. The first ever voice actor for Jasper T. Jobs. Right, and this is actually will be the last time we actually hear. Um, it was the first time we actually were here. The feature was fun yeah. to me. And this was the only show that featured Doug and Brenton's last show as Mr. Munch. Right, and of course, who cannot forget Tokens to Ride. Anyway, and let's not forget uh, our favorite of all, Disco Chuck. Right. But anyway, folks, that's pretty much the end of the video because we're running uh, topic. Sorry, because we're running out of time. So, hope you guys enjoy and get your hands together for a C's. Uh, why are you saying this, Chucky Herbie? We hope you had a good time today here in this talk show. We'll be right back for this new episode. Of Chucky's talk show. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna think it's one of those. Oh, one red strip right. Oh. I mean, wrong. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and you subscribe. And of course, check out the new channel, Cheese Entertainment Official. And we'll be back with another talk show topic. And stay tuned for the end of November because we got something in store for those 98 shows. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. And we'll see you next time on the Chucky Ace Talk Show. Good night!